Now, my dear friends, once we have done with the integrated rate law equation for the first order, we have also discussed about the half time. Now, what we go into graphical representation with respect to the first order reactions. So, the, the title is graphical representations for the first order reaction. So to begin with, if you remember we said that the rate of a reaction is given as minus of d a upon dt and that is equal to nothing but k into the concentration of a t. Okay. So now what we need to do is, in this case the equation can be given as in the formation of y is equal to mx plus C. Now, uh, yeah, zero here. This is the equation of a straight line. This is the equation of a straight line. So, when we graph plot, how do we do it? Y is nothing but the rate of the reaction. Alright, that is this. And X is nothing but AT, that is the concentration of the reactants. So that means, and C is the intercept and which is equal to zero. So that means what we say is it's a straight line which is passing through the origin and the slope which is there, M is the slope, that slope is equal to K. This is what we get. So the rate of the reaction, this is the concentration of the reactant, straight line passing through the origin and slope will be equal to what? K. This is what we get from this particular expression. I once again repeat, this is the rate of the reaction, that is this, dA upon dt, that is also equal to kAt plus 0. So k is slope, at is the x-axis, and 0 is nothing but it is the intercept, so there is no intercept. And when there is no intercept, that means it is nothing but, it is a straight line passing through the origin. Alright? Next thing is, we also have another equation which says that at is equal to a0 into e raised to minus of kt. Okay, this is what it is. So if you have a look at this case, what happens is the concentration of the reactant decreases exponentially with time. Exponentially with what? Time. Why is this? So because this is a minus sign. All right, and this is T over here, so that is decreasing exponentially with time and therefore what we can do is if we want to plot a graph like this, then there is a time over here. Next is there is the concentration of the reactant that is AT and it is decreasing exponentially so we get a curve and that will be like this. Okay, so as the time increases, this is the way it is. As the time increases, the reactant concentration exponentially decreases. So that means they are inversely proportional. Alright? Next case is, we have the integrated rate equation says that k is equal to 2.303 upon t into log of a0 upon a t. So if you now bring about some changes, okay, as far as these particular terms are concerned, then what we can do is, we can call it as kt upon 2.303 is equal to, this t goes over here, this comes over here, is equal to log of a0 minus log of at. Because log of a upon b, you know very well it is log a minus log b. Okay, it's a very simple calculation. So therefore what we have is that log of a t, this was minus, I put it over here, so log of a t will be equal to, now this k t 2.303, I take it on the other side, so that means it becomes minus of k t 2.303 plus log of the initial concentration of the reactant. So how it is going to be now, this is y, okay, now this is m, now this t which is being shown over here, this is nothing but it is x and this is nothing but what? c. So y is equal to mx plus c. So we have a third graph now which says nothing but 
what is the log of the concentration of the reactant at a particular time interval okay x is nothing but the time so now what we have is we have minus of k upon 2.303 that is the slope we also have an intercept so that means the line will not pass through the origin and because it's a negative slope so the line will be like this okay and then we, this is what the slope is so we say the slope is equal to minus of k upon 2.303 so therefore what we can say is from this particular expression that k will be equal to minus of 2.303 into slope okay this is the way we can do the calculation okay so this is a third graph now all right so right now my dear friends we are discussing about the graphical representation with respect to the first order reaction the first order reaction you know very well it is like a giving you all products this is the first order reaction okay so the rate of the reaction depends upon the concentration of only one of the species that is a so graphical representation pehla wala kya aayega ke rate of the reaction ko hum log plot karenge with the concentration of the reactant it's a straight line passing through the origin the slope will be equal to k fir dusra wala hai and that is going to be nothing but the concentration of the reactant against time and it exponentially decreases okay teesra wala hai and that is the log of the concentration of the reactant against time it's a negative slope so it's a decreasing line there is an intercept also okay so it will not pass through the origin and that slope will be equal to minus of k upon 2.303 and therefore what we can say is that k will be equal to minus of 2.303 into slope and so this so these are the graphical representations one more graph is there but then i want first of all you to be very clear with all these three graphs Now my dear friends, as I said, a call graph is, and that is once again, very simple. Eh? We go into k is equal to 2.303 upon d into log of a zero upon a t. Okay. Once again, we bring about some changes. The changes will be nothing but log of a zero upon a t is equal to k t upon 2.303. Okay. And plus, I'll say it is zero. So this is why this is equal to. Now what I'll do is I write down a little bit t separately so that you know it becomes very easy for you also to identify. So this is m. This t is x, and this is c. Okay. So once again, there is no intercept as such. Okay. So what we have is we will write like this. Okay. So log of A zero upon a t. That is why, okay, x is nothing but t. It's a straight line passing through the origin, and the slope will be nothing but equal to k upon two point three zero three. This is what we get. So therefore, we can say that k is equal to nothing but slope into two point three zero three. Okay, यहाँ पर minus sign नहीं आएगा दोस्तों याद रखिएगा. ओके वो टाइप का माइनस साइन आया था लेकिन दोस्तों याद रखो कि कई कई बार क्या होता है कि बच्चे आधा समझने की कोशिश करते हैं और फिर उसका कंफ्यूजन होता है ओके बच्चे बोलेंगे कि वहां पर तो हम लोग ने माइनस साइन यूज किया था कि के इजिकल माइनस ऑफ स्लोप इंटू टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री इधर क्यों नहीं ओके सिंपल रीजन है दोस्तों वाई एक्सेस देखिए ना ओके वहां पर जो वाई एक्सेस था दैट वॉज सथिंग बार लॉग ऑफ ए ओके अब यहाँ पर एट इज सथिंग बार वॉर लॉग ऑफ ए जीरो अपन ए वो चेंज हुआ है दर्म इज चेंज ऑब्वियसली देर विल बी सर्टन चेंजेस इन दिस तो ये है एक और ग्राफ सो टोटल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट फोर ग्राफ्स द रेट ऑफ द रिएक्शन अगेंस्ट द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द रिएक्ट स्ट्रेट लाइन पासिंग टू द ओरिजिन एंड द स्लोप इज इक्वल टू के फिर एक्सपोरेंशियली द रेट ऑफ द रिएक्शन डिक्रीजेस विथ टाइम ओके दर्ड एंड दैट वॉज सथिंग वर्ड लॉग ऑफ एच अगेंस्ट टी ओके सो देर वी हैड एन इंटरसेट ओके एंड द लाइन वॉज अ डिक्रीजिंग लाइन बिकॉज द स्लोप वॉज नेगेटिव और ये जो चौथा स्लो ग्राफ है एंड दैट इज लॉग ऑफ ए जीरो ओपन ए टी अगेंस्ट टाइम स्ट्रेट लाइन पासिंग टू द ओरिजिन एंड द स्लोप इज नथिंग बट इट इज के अपॉन टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री और इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन से द रेट कॉन्स्टेंट कैन बी सिंपली फाउंड आउट बाय फाइंडिंग आउट द स्लोप एंड मल्टीप्लाइंग इट बाई टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट what we have discussed about the integrated form of the first order reaction. Then on the basis of the first order reaction, we have found out about the half life. 
ओके और हाफ टाइम वी कैन कॉल इट एज ओके हाफ लाइफ नॉर्मली हम लोग रेडियो एक्टिविटी के नजरिए से बोलते हैं ओके और फिर हम लोग ने ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन कंसिडर किया ओके आई होप यहाँ तक सारे कंसेप्ट आपके बहुत क्लियर हो चुके रहेंगे